Okay, my face is so red right now. I just applied this Glam Glow Star Potion Liquid Charcoal Clarifying Oil and my face might not like it. Whew, it's really red. Hopefully I'm okay because we're going to move on with this anyway. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I've been covering up my scabs. Let me zoom it in for you. I'm going to show you how I've been covering up my scabs and then um, my updated brow routine. So I'm going to show you how I get from this to this. Alright, so zooming back out. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a base of foundation down on my face. So I'm going to do that right now and I'll be right back. Okay, so now my face has a base of makeup down. It's not the best base of makeup I've done because I had that oil down underneath. I don't know why I just didn't wipe it off. Moving on. Okay, so I'm going to zoom into my brow. And I'm first going to do the brow first before concealing the scabs. Just to get that out of the way. And I just brushed up the brow hairs to see where I am sparse. And I'm going to be using this pen from MAC. I love this product. So it's just basically a liquid liner for your brows. And you can get really, really, really precise little brow hairs. Now I also do like this product from Makeup Forever. It's pretty much the same thing. But this one's more of like a liquidy liner where you have to keep dipping it in. And this one is like that felt tip liner where you can just shake it and get some more product. So I'm going to be using the one from MAC. And this is the color Fling. So I'm going to show you right now how I like to do them. Now I'll kind of start like right here. Right in that gap. And I'm just going to be drawing some hair strokes. Now I love the way that this gives this like a very natural but also kind of like undone look to it. I'm kind of over like super structured brows right now. I know my mind always changes. You know, you just go through phases. So I just continue to flick the brush. You don't want to kind of push it down and prep, like drag it. You just want to make like quick motions so that you're getting like small hair strokes. And for the tail, you can kind of pull them out, pull them down, just depending on the way you want the brow to go. Okay, also that oil is making it a little bit hard for this product to stick because it's so slippy. I'm just going to switch to the shade Spiked Now. Spiked Now, it's a little bit darker, so it's going to give my brow more dimension. Alright, so that would be how I like to fill them in, but since they are coming off really shiny on camera from that oil I had on my face, I'm going to show you a trick for that as well. You can take a tiny brush, I'm going to take this one by Sigma, this is the L06 brush, 
and I'm going to take a brow powder. So I'm going to take this one, Foolproof from Benefit. I'm going to take the darker shade here, and I'm going to kind of stamp that on in some spaces, and then do some other brow strokes as well, because we want this to look the most natural as possible. And see how it just kind of took down the shine a bit in the brow. Get a little bit here. Alright, so it's looking a little bit unruly now, but I'm going to clean that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean up the brow, and then we'll go in and fix the scabs. So just being really gentle over the scabs. Then I'm going to pick up my flat brush. I'm going to carve them out first. Alright, so that did a pretty good job concealing the scabs, but I can still see a bit of it here. So I'm going to put a little bit of concealer back of my hand, and this brush right here will be your best friend if you ever get scabs on your face or even pimples. So this is the Sigma Duo Fiber Blend E41 brush. Looks like this. Now you can take some just on the back of the brush and with the little stipples you're going to just tap that on over top and I think I used too much product there and you're just going to tap And I'm going to diffuse those edges. And it pretty much has now disappeared. So I'm just going to go over this spot here. There's a little bit of a scab showing. Alright, and there you have it. So then I'll just set that with a powder. I'm going to do a loose powder today just because uh, my face is very oily from that oil I used previously. So I'm going to take some on the back of my blunt beauty blender. Kind of let it set and then we will brush that off. Great, right, so let's go do the other eye then. So now that my other brow is done, I'm just going to take some of my face powder and we're just going to slightly get rid of the bake. And voila! That is my current brow routine and how I've been covering up my scabs. Alright guys, so that is my current brow routine and how I've been covering up my brow scabs. Like I was saying before, this brush is really great for covering up little spots, pimples, or even scabs. 
I really like it. This is the Sigma E41 brush. It is awesome. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I still look quite a mess right now. But yeah, I hope you learned something cool or interesting or new today. If you guys have any tips or techniques that you have for how you cover up a scab, please leave them down in the comments below because I'm always looking for new tips and tricks. Alright, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you on my next video, guys. Bye.